Hi guys, um, welcome back to the channel. Tonight I want to talk about these Funtek chisels that I got in Japan. Now, the difference between them is that these ones are made out of cemented carbide. And these ones are made out of steel. So, what happened to them, like these ones are more durable. And they're going to last you for like a really long time. Now, the difference between these chisels and these other type of scribers, to be more specific, is that when you, with the scriber, you do a line, the line, it gets wider as deeper you go. With these chisels or these scribers, to be more specific, when you made a line, stays in that specific width. So basically, it just keeps cutting down straight. This one, it keeps cutting down straight, but it keeps widening. And you don't want that. And now, you can see the prices on the chisels that I got in different places. I got some of them in box, and I got some of them in Kotobukiya. Now, you can see they come in different sizes. There's one size I don't have, but I order it. So it goes right over here on this corner. Um, but it's coming in the mail. Now I bought a holder for the tools. That was pretty cheap, uh, like around $4. Now this package over here, it comes with the vise, and it comes with a, a 0 0.15, and it comes with a brush. Now the way this brush works is that when you do a line, you use it to clean up that specific line and the bristles are really strong. They're not soft. So it's able to get rid of that residue. Now what I'm gonna do is like, I'm going to take them all out of the package and I'm gonna come back to them and I'm gonna do a demonstration how they work. Okay guys, I'm back. So I took them out of the package and basically you can see all the different sizes. Okay, let me put them up close. And we're just gonna jump into it. Now, another thing I wanted to say is that Japan, the tools are cheaper, okay? When you go over there, of course, because they're made over there. And most of the tools that I bought, they're Japanese tools. Now, some of these companies here in the United States, they bring the stuff for, from Japan, but they're selling it like for really like high prices. Like I seen these chisels, you know, for almost like forty dollars each. That's that's a little bit too much, and I just want to say that, you know, I understand you do the import and you need to make some money, but some of the stuff is way high price now so let me start the demonstration so I already took the liberty of putting the scribing tape on this part over here so uh, I'm gonna do one uh, one line with a regular um, scriber the one pretty much everybody uses now, don't get me wrong, these subscribers are really good. And they do a really good job. The only problem is that it's just it will open that, that line the deeper you go. Okay. Now I'm going to use the same size. Now, the way they did this. Um, bias is like basically so the the red does the way the plastic is so the you know the scriber doesn't go all the way in okay now this is the first time I'm using this scriber so you know I'm kind of new how they really work so I'm going to start really stuff with them
me change my glasses really quick. We are much better. Now you can see the one on the bottom, okay, is is less white. It's less white to the one on the top, where it's just bigger and deeper. Okay. Now, another thing I want to talk about Japan is that um, the store that I found the most tools, because I try to find tools that I cannot get basically in the United States or tools that it was really expensive for me to get them here. It was Bulks. Bulks was the store that you carry so many tools just like I mentioned on my other video about the um, the paint shaker or the mixer like Bulks had it like so much stuff there it was insane and uh, I went to other places and the prices that were the same amount that they were in Kotobukiya that you, you can see in the beginning of this video like the prices of Kotobukiya and the prices of bulk, they are the same. So if it was like 1760 in Kotobukiya, it was 1750 in, in bulk. Now, the attention that I got in these stores, it was amazing. Japanese people are really nice people when it comes about when you ask them questions about things. They will go out of their way to actually bring other stuff that you haven't even seen. And I was like really happy with that. Now in the next videos, I'm going to talk about this, the way these ones they work and how you will use them. And then I want to talk about um, an airbrush that I got and some other tools. And because right now I'm in the middle of a build and I needed to leave the build in the middle because I went for the vacation in Japan. But anyway, guys, thank you very much and thank you for listening and have a good night.